Hi, today is February 14th, 2013, and it's 11 years since uh, Borland uh, launched Delphi at the Moscone Center in San Francisco. My name is Marco Cantu, and I'm here to show you like a very short video about what Delphi used to be. And in fact, although I'm actually running this virtual machine on my Mac, what you're seeing here is a DOS prompt. Because at the time, and that was uh, Windows 3.1, there wasn't such a thing as um, Windows boot. So you will start from DOS and then type Win and start Windows. And this is Windows 3.1. I think the actually 3.11, the workgroup version. And you can do all of the nice stuff. Open the file manager. You know, that's all it gets. And go for calendar. Hey, uh, it even works. And close the windows and do all of the standard, I mean, all timers, Windows operations. And yes, we have games. Hey. Solitaire and Minesweeper and accessories. What a wonderful set of programs here. And all of that stuff, but more than anything else, uh, I do have on this virtual machine Delphi installed. And that's Delphi 1, the first version of the product. And just double click on it, and hey, this is Delphi up and running. And as you can see, if I go to the About box, that's Delphi Client Server from 1995. Uh, the copyright dates back to 83 because that's when it uh, Turbo Pascal started. And if we go for Alt Developers, can actually get to see the original R&D stuff. Hmm, nice to see those names. And so this is it. And there were a bunch of standard components. Of course, we can have a button. Uh, we can have an edit. And yeah, I'm going to create the usual demo. And a list box. And here we go. Go to the button and say list box one dot items was no code completion, but the code is always the same. Edit one. Oops, sorry, wrong keyboard mapping. So that's the close parenthesis, and it would be very hard to find the semicolon can go without it. So, hey, this is our very nice and smooth application and we can run it. And here we go. Uh, we can go Delphi is 18. Great application. And there is more, of course, we could explore. We have additional components. Um, some of those are still in the product today. There's data access components. There's data controls, the DB grid. Hey, here it goes. And dialogues, open, save, a bit different from how they look today. Uh, system components, there was all a DDE media player. I mean, very bunch of very nice things. And we could display the media player output onto a panel. Yeah, I don't think I have a video on this system anyway, so it would be pretty useless, I guess. But that was the idea back then. Um, would I be able to find a file? I don't think so. Yeah, there's actually nothing here in the gallery. Nope. These are the standard apps that were available back then. 
documentation or anything else, anywhere else on Windows. I don't think it came with any actual video. So, well, sorry, shouldn't have gone through this demo. Anyway, let's get rid of the panel. Oh, not like this, whatever. Uh, move this around and again, VBX controls. That was the time we could plug in controls that were VBX because that there was still no uh, ActiveX controls back then. And samples, samples are still in the product today, fine. I'm not sure why, but uh, so that was a color picker and there was a calendar. That's kind of astonishing. Now, the thing is that if you take those three controls, take this code, open the latest version of Delphi, and well, the version I have on my computer, um, I can actually run an iOS application, but if you want to see this same code or something very similar running on iOS, there's going to be a webinar next week, so I'll delay to that. Uh, the code, the architecture, um, the internal model, uh, if not the library, because the iOS support is going to be through uh, FarmMonkey and not VCL, but the coding style, the approach, the model, the architecture, everything you have done for the last 18 years, mostly focused on Windows, starting with Windows 3 and then with Delphi 2 on um, That's interesting. Okay, uh, and then with Windows 95 in 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 Delphi 2, and then after version after version of Windows, what we've recently added is Mac support, um, and what's coming next very real soon is a native uh, iOS support. So this is kind of a short peek on some very old. Delphi, the first version, up and running, but it's not just a look to the past, we are ready to get back to the future and move Delphi to uh, mobile development with iOS and Android support. Uh, okay, that was what I wanted to show you. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Bye.